Hi everyone, it's Mari for the Vicki Booten Design Team. I'm going to be creating a 12 by 12 layout for you today using the gorgeous Fernwood Collection. I'm starting off here with a piece of Vicki Booten Foundations paper and I'm using some of Vicki's art crayons. Actually, I'm just using one of the crayons. It's kind of just a really pretty blue color. I just love this. It's always been my favorite art crayon color and I've used it again and again. I just really adore it. I'm applying some of the art crayon with the help of a Tim Holt Stampers Anonymous stamp and I will make sure that I link up to all of the different products that I've used in the description box below. So I just scribbled that crayon onto the stamp and then I just put a little bit of water onto that and just rubbed it around and kind of blended it together with my finger and then I just added it onto my paper and here you can just see I'm using my heat tool to help me get that a little bit drier and just moving the pigment around a little bit just to kind of get an interesting uh, look to that color as it dries. Now I did really want to use that cloud paper so I was kind of trying to match up to that color with a softness, um, the lights and darks in that paper. I'm using my fan brush and I've just watered down some of the crayon again in my watercolor tray and I'm just splattering that on the background to get a little bit more pigment. So I'm just really loving how this is coming together and I'll just continue this process until I feel like I have enough of this pigment on my paper. Now this is the photo here that I'm going to be scrapbooking. I, it's a four by three photograph of my daughter and I just also wanted to put a little bit of stenciling in behind the photo mat area. So I'm using one of the Fernwood stencils. This is the floral one. I really love it and I'm just picking up some of that same color of um, art crayon with my stencil brush and I'm just going to use a, uh, do a little bit of dry brushing technique with the stencil. So you'll see me picking up the pigment one more time and I'm going to go over it again and just get a little bit of a darker tone. I wasn't getting a really good transfer of color onto my brush with my silicone mat so I just am putting that onto some plastic packaging here. Actually it's some of the packaging from the foundations paper and I've just picked that up now and I'm getting a nice dark impression now of that floral to add onto the layers here. I'm going to put some music on for you so you can watch some more of the process and then I'll come on at the end and just talk about a, this layout a little bit more for you. So I'll see you back at the end.
I just really love how the layout turned out. I think all of the mixed media elements that I've added are really super pretty with the ephemera and the little fussy cut florals and the different elements. I absolutely love the stamp set with that piece of fern in it. It's gorgeous. And I really had a lot of fun with my large scrapbooking Misty stamping those ferns onto the background with that same art crayon that I used for the background. Now I'm just using some Dina Wakely gloss spray in white and again with my fan brush splash splattering that pigment onto the project just to add some really nice dimensional white splatter. I did actually move that title, The Puffy Word Life, to a different spot so it doesn't get left there at the bottom. I didn't like it in that spot. I thought it just looked odd. So you'll just, um, I'll show you here at the end, a still shot of the layout so that you can see what it looks like or where I moved that title to but I just really love how this turned out. I love that distressed uh, craft colored pattern paper. I think it's gorgeous. I love the contrast that it provides on the layout and I did link up to all of the different products I used for this project in the description box below. See you next week friends. Bye bye.